A naughty fish jumped up and down, but then it was shaved off. The owner held the fish with one hand while the other hand used the knife to gently glide. Quickly, the meat and bones of the fish were divided. Next, the owner turned the fish over and did the same thing. Finally, he hid in the middle of the fish to take out internal organs. The dish was brought to the table but the fish was still breathing. The diner gave the fish a cigarette, but it didn't latch on. So, he picked the cigarette up and put it in the fish's mouth. That was a normal day at a sushi restaurant. Diners went to this restaurant to enjoy delicious dishes from fish. Many sea fish on the table would become diners' food. On the other side, many other fish were swimming in the tank. When diners looked at the tank, intelligent fish would play dead. Except Badak, it kept crashing into the glass, so the diners chose it right away. However, when the owner was about to catch it, he suddenly changed to catch another fish. The selected fish was beaten and passed out. The owner cut out its flesh and threw the body into the sink. Padak was frightened when seeing that scene. So, it crazily crashed into the glass, but all in vain. The goldfish advised it to accept its fate. But Padak didn't listen and tried the best to stable the glass. At this time, the other fish began line up to welcome their leader. That was a bigger fish with ferocious eyes swimming up from a grate. Seeing Padak continuously crashing into the glass, the leader fish rushed to give Padak a palm that made Padak stop. But Padak still disobey, so the leader hit it again. Finally, Padak was beaten, then passed out. When it woke up, it was the next afternoon. At this time, another fish was thrown in the tank as food for them. How would they enjoy their food? Firstly, they pushed that fish into the grate for the leader. When the leader threw the remains out, two eyes were gouged out. The fishy blood stimulated the other fish around. So they all rushed to madly bite their prey. Only Padak still bewildered in the same place, because it didn't want to do like that. Padak jumped out of the tank and escaped successfully. Then, it tried to jump to the sea but quickly, it was exhausted. So, the owner picked it up and threw it into the tank. After this incident, other fish changed their attitude to Padak. When hearing Padak talked about the sea, the goldfish started liking to go to the sea. One day, the owner wanted to change the water in the tank. So, he put all of the fish into a bucket. That was such great opportunity that Padak didn't want to give up. It jumped out the bucket, and then the goldfish jumped too. Unexpectedly, at the same time, a car stopped in front of the restaurant. When the goldfish was jumping over, the girl stepped into its tail. Now, just jumping one step, Padak would free. But it didn't want to leave the goldfish behind. As a result, both of them were thrown into the tank. First step was effort, second step was failure and third step would be the end. Now, Padak was no longer extravagant, but it lay motionless. Another fresh fish was thrown into the tank. As usual, the leader would eat it first. But this time, the bait fish was the same species as the leader fish. Then, the leader fish grabbed its fellow and rushed out. Its ferocity and violent movement made Padak hate him even more. Padak stopped being silent, but jumped over the leader. It wanted to escape but unexpected, fell into the crab's tank. It was attacked by a group of crabs, which caused pain and fatigue. Luckily, a naughty boy took it out and threw it into the aquarium. When Padak woke up, a fish in the aquarium was provoking it. But that aquarium fish didn't know that Padak was very hungry. Padak stared at the aquarium fish, wanting to devour it. The instinct of aquarium fish was to run away. But the aquarium was so small that it couldn't hide anywhere. A carnage happened in the aquarium. On the other side, the goldfish ignored other fish's objections. It jumped out of the tank to escape, but also landed in the crab's tank. A group of crabs warmly welcomed it. When the goldfish was brought back into the tank, it became a frozen body. The other fish quickly rushed to bite it. But the leader couldn't bear it, so it tried to protect the goldfish. Unexpectedly, at this time, Padak was also thrown back into the tank. When Padak saw the goldfish's body at the leader's place, it immediately attacked the leader fish. When two fish were fighting in the tank, diners suddenly chose the leader fish for their meal. The leader fish on the chopping board saw that its fellows were all killed. Each fish was cooked, stewed in turn and the body was thrown into the sink. Finally, it was his turn. When the knife was only very close to it, the customers changed their mind. It was luckily alive but Padak got into trouble. Padak was cut into slices and placed on the dish while it was still breathing. The diner gave it a cigarette, but it didn't suck, so the diner had to do again. Fish also know how to smoke. The leader fish saw this scene, and it had a plan. The next day, when the owner opened the lid of the tank, the leader fish jumped out of the tank. It fell onto the road, and then jumped step by step towards the sea. However, when it was about to reach the sea, the owner stepped on its tail, grabbed it, and took it to the restaurant. But it thought it had to do something. From its mouth, the leader fish released a knife and threw it at the owner. The owner was so scared that he immediately let it go. 
The leader fish quickly jumped into its beloved sea. For Padak's return, only its soul could come back to the sea. Everyone wants to be free, but few have it. Some people keep struggling, because they believe that they will succeed. But they are trapped by something and fail midway. Some people have no desire at all. But the fight for freedom from others makes them touched. Thus, they try their best to win liberty. In the end, they achieved what they wanted. That's so ridiculous. It's sad but there's no way to change it. Perhaps, that's life.